We're back to the melee only run. The melee only, the melee gods. The melee gods. Fertilizer, that's right. How's it going, Reezy? Oh boy, we got a lot of stuff going on on the map, guys. It's, uh, it's brutal. Um, literally, if everything on the map attacked us right now, we would die. That's how you get brown rice. Oh, oh. Uh, people that only watch like the recorded part and I'm coming during this are gonna be like, what are you talking What's going on here? Let's just talk about pooping in the rice. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's a top secret stream only kind of thing. So let me, uh, let me just go over just a little bit of what's going on on the map. Over here, we have over a hundred cocoons of insects. Are bugs turned on? I think they're turned on. Yeah, they're real turned on. They're ready to go. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. Uh, we got 16 centipedes. We got two scythers. We got an apocriton. We got centurions. We got war queens, right? That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. But wait, there's more. Thanks, Billy Mays. Don't forget, there's another almost 20 centipedes down here. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, Adam. That could probably all, uh, all kill you. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this... We got a lot of stuff going on. It's not bugs, those are mechanoids. They will be bugs. There will be bugs. So we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Uh, all right, let me see when the next uh, uplifting will be here. 5.6 days, I believe. Yeah, we got a five and a 22 and some 30s. All right. So in five d days, OD here will become a melee god. Um. We're currently working on scanning some materials, um, getting the plasteel out of the ground because we need to, uh, let's see, we just finished getting bionic legs on everyone, so that's good. We're trying to get some um, stock of extra cataphract armors and things like that. Everyone is now in Luciferium, so how'd I get so many slaves? Uh, well, most of them used to be colonists. They, they, they appeared and they were like, hey, we heard that you're the same ideology. Can we be in your colony? And we said, sure. And then we arrested them and, and forced them into slavery. That's the main way that we did that. Main way. Uh, I need to get rid of these two slaves. We'll see. I think Cassandra was... Uh, recording started, right? I'm not... Okay. Uh, I think Cassandra had just... Let's see. Waste back. Yeah, so she's about to come off. Cool down. I like to get these two slaves out of here. It's a real tricky thing to get out of here, though, with them not waking something up. Uh, so we got four of these to get rid of. They wanted to be slaves. Think about it. Uh, Granny has been summoned. All right, Dragon Ball. Let's see what Granny has to say for us this morning before we get started in earnest. What's up, Granny? Let's see. That's what my dear old Granny used to say. She was always saying this, whether you wanted to or not. I would know those shins anywhere. Granny had a thing for shins, I guess. Why are the children named Sell Me and Sell the Child? That's just the name they were born with, you know? They came out of the womb with a name tag. I can't be res held responsible for the names that the world gave them, you know? After you didn't stream last night because of wrestling? Oh, and you wanted to watch the late game, um... Uh... All night. Wrestling. Wrestling. I see how it is, R squared. R squared. See? See? Yeah, it is. Oh. It's all good. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm I'm a little on the fence for what to do right now. Cause if I try to leave the map, there's really only a couple ways out that we don't just get absolutely screwed over. Uh, let's maybe take care of these bugs so at least we have another way out. I don't know. You you could always tame insects. Yeah, that was always the thing. But they're not they're not great. They're not great. And they're very dirty. They're a little bit better as of one point three than they used to be. But yeah, they don't they don't reproduce. They don't produce jelly or anything like that. They don't produce hives. You know. So, um, hmm. If I want to leave the map, ah, ah, we don't need to leave the map. It's fine. It's fine. Although, ah, we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Who needs to leave the map? Not me. 
More bugs, more bugs. More bugs. See more bugs? We're about to see more bugs. Instax being tame becomes actually viable. I was so disappointed, and I know there are mods for this, but when Ideology was announced, there were screenshots of like, um, like a bug ranch or something like under the mountain. And I was like, oh, we're going to be able to be bug worshippers. We're going to worship bugs and keep them as pets. And But no, not really. It was just that they like insect meat. <laughs> it was like, all right, well, that's whatever. Melee blocking out. Nope. Try to see more. See more. It looks really cool. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man, we're going to be able to like worship bugs and like, breed them or something. Eh, not so much. Not so much. There are mods uh, for bug worshiping. Uh, yeah, it was not to be in the base game, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really curious what's going to happen. Like, if all the stuff on the map pops at the same time, we can't kill it alone. We literally cannot. It's it's too much for us as a melee group. Like, the, the centipedes alone could probably kill us. There's, like, 40 centipedes on the map. But there's also, like, three boss mechs and a bunch of other stuff. Um, hundreds of hives. Well, like, all together, like, 150 hives. It's pretty nuts. So... And also, it's going to lag like crazy. So when <laughs> when we have a humanoid raid, it might pull everything, and it's going to be it's going to be really crazy. It'll be really crazy. Are bugs and mechs turned on? Uh, let me check. No, no, they're not. John Newton, only on OnlyFans. Wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. That's right. A dromedary. This is Boo's domain. Yoshi! We need Yoshi. He can eat these. Talk stack walls. Wa waffles. Whoa, 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 waffles. <laughs> I don't know why there was like a... What's that sound? Why are the bugs coming? What made them unhappy? Waffles, thank you for the bits. We better kill these ones. Or something bad happens. I should probably do it. Which one spawned first? The west one. Well, it was these, then the mechs, then these mechs, and then these bugs. <laughs> in that order. It was bug, mech, mech, bug. I don't know. The bass music stopped, so I knew there were bugs coming. <laughs> anyway, whoa, 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 waffles. Whoa, 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 waffles. Uh, thank you for the 777 bits. Thank you, Waffles. My favorite Total War streamer from streaming RimWorld. What? Uh, thanks. I'm glad you like the Total War. More on the way. More on the way. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is so what I did is I dropped some toxic packs over here to to uh, start polluting this area in case we had to do a melee fight out there. And... Am I going to use generators for melee setup? No. Why? Why would I... That would completely go against the whole point of this playthrough. Yes, I could use corner punch or generator corner punch or whatever and be invulnerable, but that would just be boring. So I don't usually use extreme exploits like that unless the run is specifically built around exploits, kind of like the cheese run. But no, I'm not using corner punch. I didn't use it in my other melee. I'm not using the generator corner punch. No, none of those. Um, it would just... That would be... I, I don't know. I think that would be pretty boring. This run is pretty fun. So I wouldn't want to just cheese it just to say I did it, you know? This entire run was just about being fun. So we could absolutely just line up in a corner and kill everything in the game without them being able to hurt us. But right now, being able to chase things down and beat them face to face is pretty fun, I gotta say. Um, but anyway, I, I dumped some packs here to get some pollution and then the bug spawned. Generator quarter punch. All right, so a lot of people don't know. It's not as strong as normal corner punch, but basically, if you have... A generator and you have like um this is just the very basics of it and you have like a wall coming in here right and this is the interest to your kill box and, and there's other things to it but just you get the idea this is your interest to the kill box you can actually zone your people here and they'll be able to attack enemies that come across and enemies won't be able to attack on that tile so you basically get to melee them without them being able to attack back and melee block them without them being attacked back. And you can even put guns here to shoot them at close range as well. It's it's just an exploit. And use exploits if you want. I don't care. I use them in the cheese run specifically 
in order to um it's not quite as strong as, as corner punch but it's very similar um mechanics behind it but anyway use them if you want i don't care whatever you have fun using but i think it would make this run i'm not going to use it in my runs unless it's unless the run is specifically geared around cheeses which we've only done one of those and that one was to show how strong cheese can be we actually did um naked blind what else naked blind and scarred against max raid points and we we could kill infinite enemies without getting hurt that's how strong the exploits can be and that's why i don't use them in the normal playthroughs yeah yeah um those things are obviously really strong if you want to play that way and i don't care if you play that way it's fine it's fine it's, it can be fun sometimes you know the the singularity box is exploitive right but it's nowhere near as exploitive as punching through a corner where when you can't get hurt oh yeah the, the corner punch is infinitely stronger than the singularity because there is no recourse at all that you can't do anything you can just kill as many as you want cheese and exploits and different things yeah i think so i think so. start watching the 20 year run it's interesting seeing me play with mods yeah yeah it's a lot different back then and some pandas run around and stuff <laughs> All right, let's see. Four days left. How long on this? 17. Uh, so yeah, in the meantime, we're just letting things happen. That's not singularity in your current colony. Usually don't do much fighting at all. It's extremely strong as long as you use it correctly. And there's, I don't mean that in a negative way either. I still get comments every day on YouTube telling me that it doesn't work. And that it's like, man, I used this and I ended up dying. They just overran me. Okay, you're doing it wrong. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, there's a lot of things that you can do wrong with the Singularity Kill Box. Lots of things. It's pretty complex. And you need to know how to reset. I don't know how many times people have been like, man, I built this in the early game and I just got killed. They just came up to, they just killed me. Like, well, did you reset? Reset? No, I don't know what that means. All right, well, watch the video again. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. But um, anyway, yeah, don't, don't feel bad if it's, if you get killed using it, even though it's incredibly strong. It takes some real practice to be able to use it correctly and to build it correctly and to reset correctly like it's uh there's a lot to it it's extremely strong but you have to you have to figure out what you're doing yeah if yeah yeah that's what it was people starting out with like um crash landed and it's like three guys and they're getting attacked by like 15 mechs and they're like man what happened the mechs got on top of me and killed me like yeah that's gonna happen you have to reset it what do you mean reset it literally watch the video it goes over resetting multiple times in the video i watched it okay if you say so yeah that's completely fine yeah play however you want and uh it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes and whatnot but the ones i'm talking about are the ones that then go to the comments and tell me that it doesn't work and yeah you know what people i've actually had people come in before and say say stuff like adam should i should i play on commitment mode like should i play and not save scum and my thing is whatever is fun for you i get to play rimworld so much that if i lose on commitment mode whatever i'm i know i'm going to be playing hundreds or thousands more hours because it's my job like a lot of people don't have a lot of time to play and so let's say you get all the way to ship launch and you die on ship launch uh, absolutely reload it and do it again because you know how long it's going to take you to get back to ship launch to practice that part of the game by all means reload practice and everything i would say maybe try to wean yourself off of like reloading after every little mistake but reloading to retry certain things like battles and whatnot it's one of the best ways to practice things but again as long as you're having fun though i don't care oh yeah someone lost a pinky in a social fight better reload yeah that's sort of thing that's whatever. Let's go on, Cobra. Go Frenzy. Go Frenzy. Yeah, there was a comment just the other day on YouTube that was like... It was like, I don't understand. They just walk right through the open doors while I'm shooting at them. It's like... Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. I, I don't know, man. There's just so many things that are just mind-blowing when I read the comments about the Singularity Box. It was like... I don't understand. The tunnel of doors that are open in the middle, they just walk right through them. Yep, they sure do. That's why they're there. <laughs> like, anyway. 
Uh, minimum gaming time. Yeah, yeah. Do whatever's fun for you, honestly. 4.3. Watching no pause gives you anxiety. You want your, you need your space bar. Underground uranium. All right, well, I'm just waiting to see what wakes those friggin' bugs up. Just waiting. Just waiting. In the meantime, we're trying to scan for some materials. I could go ahead and start building the ship, uh, even though we're not going to use it quite yet. Going ahead and building it would give us the benefit of having some extra power from the reactor. It's going to cost a lot of, um, a lot of plasteel. We're going through plasteel like crazy right now. I actually thought about doing a long range mineral scanner. Uh, and I, I, I might do that. Yeah, we could go mine something like that out really quick and just get right back home. We do a new pause run. Just know there's too many things that happen in your house to pull you away. I mean, you can pause it when you can minimize or you can hit escape. That technically pauses it, and, but you can't do anything. Like you literally can't do anything. So. You can do that in, in case you need to get up or something. I let it keep going even when I get up, but you can minimize or whatever. You, my friend, are rated. I got a pause carry. Nice. Pause carry is uh, uh, still an amazing, amazing uh, champion. Trisha, tier two, 17 months. Oh my god, finally. Trisha, 17 months. Wow. How time flies, Trisha. How time flies. Uh, thank you, Trisha. Very much appreciated. Stop the game, but you can't queue commands or anything. Yeah, you can't do anything during the escape um, thing. Yeah, so. So if you're trying out pause the first time, or, you know, um, it, I've, I've told you before, obviously play however you like to play, but I would say like, try to do some battles without pausing sometime just to, just to see how it is for you. I still get those comments occasionally too that tell me no pause is the same as playing on one X. And some of them are trolling and some of them I think are serious, but yeah, okay. Try it out. Try it out. Just let me know. I, I'll i never forget that one person that made like paragraphs telling me that I should stop putting no pause in my titles and stuff because all I'm doing is bragging. And I was like, it's literally the descriptor of what I'm doing. Like, it's like saying that people are doing speed runs shouldn't put speed run in their title. You're just bragging about how fast you're playing the game. Take that out of there. You don't need that. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, that's just how I like to play. Thank you, though. How are we doing on our drugs? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Does a Twitch VOD take to be put onto YouTube? Depends. Yeah, it depends. Uh, it just depends. So right now, they're being edited, so it's going to be a while. The first episode of the newer run just finished getting edited today, so that'll probably be going up tomorrow. Three stream title on Twitch. I mean, literally, if all I was doing was just uploading, like, at the end of the stream, if all I did was upload the VOD and nothing else, Welcome just literally click to upload it, it would take my connection, like, 30 minutes. But that's not all that goes into it. For five minutes of no pause, and it stressed you out too much. Uh, Sim, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Simster. Those two timid caterpillar helmets are 10 out of 10 with the little hor horns. Uh, this one's got pig ears, horns, and the helmet. I think we can get enough Nutrimine to take Go Juice every day. Twice a day. I'm just saying, next episode in 30 minutes. Gotcha. It always makes me think of like some kind of Jamaican beach music or something. From like a game though, you know? Like some kind of beach festival in Stardew Valley or something. So we are up to 10 melee gods. Two of them don't have great weapons, but we're working on that. Did we get another quest for uh, artifact yet? If I can hit the quest button. We might figure that out.
Not yet, not yet. Hop on, do some rim worlding. Got some peaceful time at the moment. Alrighty. Well, good luck, good luck. Okay, we do have another bed set up already for when OD is ready. Peaks and Valley of the Wealth Chart. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> what is this? I don't even remember. Oh, I think that was uh during the ancient. Uh, no, that wasn't near the ancient dangers because that was when the ship crash was. Yeah, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on there. Weird. You can always see when I get to uh, raid point cap, like suddenly my wealth is like, all right, we don't care about wealth anymore. <laughs> Just a casual 100K dipping in and out of the colony. Don't show that to the IRS. Guess we're at raid cap. Yeah, we've been at raid cap for a couple days. Yeah. A couple of stream days. Um, I think I might change this to be the hospital so I can build a ship here. We're gonna need a lot more silver to do that, so it's gonna take some time. We can go ahead and do the poor man's uh sterile tile. Just uh just steel tile. It's point two cleanliness it's at point six, but you know it's still still pretty decent. I can do that but we're not quite ready to get started on the ship anyway. Like I said, we need a lot more plasteel. I might do long range mineral scanner. It's like I might as well get one going. Yeah, we'll do it. All right. Uh, under miscellaneous. Long range mineral scanner. We'll just put it right there. Which wealth is each melee god pawn? Actually, some of them aren't worth as much as you would think. They are now that I started putting other things on them, but at first they weren't really. Because genes don't really add much. But as you can see, this one's 9,000. 3,000. Like, that's not much at all for this pawn. Look. Fast learner tough. Godly genes. Wearing incredible gear. You know? Oh, he's still got the awful uh, mono sword. But yeah. Anywhere from like... Uh, here's the probably our most expensive... Our most expensive is about 10k. So anywhere from like 3,000 to 10,000. I want to start to add up though, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, one of the children tried to escape. And so we cut their friggin' arm off. You need a weapon upgrade, you do, yeah. Uh, yeah, the gear is... Uh, item wealth, not pawn wealth. Yeah, so that that's mainly their stats and their um, um, their bionics and stuff like that. Now the gear is going to be basically the same on everyone, but they're all wearing the same. Like a measured response. Yes, yeah, that seem seems to match. You know, the the punishment ma matches the crime. I would say. The kid just wanted to not be treated like a slave anymore, so he cut his arm off. Pretty, pretty even. Sell those kids? Well, yes, that's why they're named that, but I can't take them off the map quite at the moment because we're surrounded by things. <laughs> Made an example of that child. I want to go outside. <laughs> yeah, I bet you want two arms too. Can't get everything you want, kid. Sorry. That's life on the rim. He learned his lesson. You like drawing those chalk pictures with only one arm. Wait, he was already using only one arm, probably. Ah, well. Sticking by it. I like he meant to destroy the kid's arm, right? Right? Right, right? Turn them into mood beacons. There's no such thing in this one because we're all psychically deaf, so. Mood beacon type th stuff doesn't impact us. The strategy only works twice. Yeah. Exact strategy only works twice. 
Yeah, but the happiness beacons don't do anything for our pawns because we're all psychically deaf. All right, we're gonna set this to plasteel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the droner and stuff like that is only bothering uh, slaves and visitors and stuff. Yeah. Am I gonna expand my base anymore? Probably not. No. Probably not. Alright, so we'll start finding some plast you. Insect jelly spoils in storage. It does in the storage is outside and surrounded by a hundred insects. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that that's the one that you see popping up. Going too fat crew, welcome in. You never use it, doesn't it find huge caches. Uh it it finds a fair amount, yeah. Especially it's especially good for gold and for components, but we're gonna find some plasteel. That area is giving you anxiety. Well, if you th if this one's giving you anxiety, wait until you see this. There's a hundred over a hundred cocoons here. Sixteen centipedes, multiple boss mechs. And then we got this going on. Like all kinds of bad things going on, on the map. Let's just not look at those. None. We don't need to think about those at all. We're gonna pretend those don't exist. We're gonna pretend those don't exist. Lot of stuff going on. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's there's uh there's several things happening. <laughs> Cocoons, a biotech thing, yep. My solution for a viewer saying they have more anxiety or to have anxiety is to give them more anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Tough love. Out of walls, out of mind. <laughs> That's right. Big trouble in little rim. Uh, I am pretty uh, worried about whatever the next raid is and it, what it pulls to us. I actually do hope that like pirates spawn over here. I would love to see these two groups and like 100 explosive pirates all fight. Like my, my computer might explode, but it'd be pretty cool in the meantime. So eventually this will be the new hospital. Be worth it. Scatter drop pirates. Uh yes, I've already been allying factions yet. Exactly for that, yep. Call in against sieges and against uh mech clusters and stuff like that. Then I have these two pods completely full, ready to re-ally. Uh depending on what hits us, so. Yeah, we'll probably do the ship launch, yep. We'll try a ship launch, I should say. Try it. Random reinforcement allies would be crazy. Imagine 100 explosive pirates, and then we get random friendlies. That would be insane. Map would just be absolute chaos. We just chill in our, in our complex, I guess. What are the chances of breaking the cocoons? Any uh, any humanoid that goes within five tiles of the cocoon will wake it. Or if they take damage. Yeah. Hate the noise of infestation spawning. You turn off, you turn bugs off sometimes because you just don't want to hear the noise. <laughs> Any while for the that starts fighting plasteel. Oh well. Uh, welcome back. Shallow Gene Pool. Thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, Gene. Yeah, my hard drive with those commands on it died. And I have not had time to remake those commands. It's not very high on the priority list. 
So no, they don't work at the moment because the hard drive that had all that stuff on it died. And I've been having 200 hour uh, contracts each month for a while. Uh, next month, I don't have a 200 hours contract. So I should be able to get caught up on some stuff next month, but we'll see. Got a lot of stuff to get caught up on. Going Vicious Rage, welcome in. I think you in Gene Pool. L, welcome in Patoot. Deuce. Wrath Rumbos. Come on, Cassandra. I want to see what I want to see what happens today. I'm just like on the edge of my seat, waiting for something to pull all these kill the thrombos. Uh, it's not too much of a priority at the moment. Be honest. We're actually uh, eating more than we're producing on the mushrooms now, which could end up being a problem. We could get rid of this concrete on the side and grow some more mushrooms. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Or you could kill the thrombos and eat that meat. Ah, uh, maybe. We do have bionics that we could replace any parts to get screwed up by the thrombo, you know? Not advised. Does pollution kill insects? No, it buffs them. Insects get pollution stimulus from it. From it. worth damaging our pla our um armor i don't know i don't know just realized they have changed out of their shield belt so i gotta fix that beta Die already. Okay. All right. The thrombo horn is still worse than what they're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of a great giant hammer if you cannot flatten a few nails? True. Why'd you add random adjectives to that sentence? I have no idea, actually. Argo Nexus. Hey, you want to turn this run into like uh, a run that's three times as long? No, I have not seen that, but it sounds like he basically confirmed the same kind of stuff that Smurf and I have been saying of what's good against what. And we already knew that like blunt weapons, when it when it destroys something, it excess damage goes through the connecting parts. We knew that one. In fact, Turf and I had some stuff to work on a melee guide ourselves, but now that came out, it's more kind of changed or on the back burner even more, but sounds like they just kind of reinforced what we were already mostly thinking or doing, so. I haven't had a chance to watch it myself, I haven't had time. Yeah, Thermal Horn is pretty equivalent to a Plasteel Longsword, yeah. I've been saying that that part for years, yeah. You missed the Thermo fight? Uh, it wasn't much of a fight. 
But was it worth, uh, eh, maybe. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been, I've literally been telling people uranium maces and plasteel longswords, depending on what you want them for. I've been telling people that since like 1.0. I thought, I thought that part at least was relatively common. There's some cool cheese. Well, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I would consider it cheese, I guess. I guess cheese in the sense that when you move over to the second settlement, you already have enough for the Arco Nexus. So you don't have to fight very much, but yeah. You can make them incredibly valuable. What determines the color of cataphract gear? It's always white until you dye it. That's what determines it. Ideology added dye to the game. But when it's made, it's just white until you until you dye it. That's it. That's it. But yeah, the the thing of mono sword versus Zeus hammer is also it, it depends thing depends on what you're fighting so I like having a mix go on sim welcome in sometimes you buy stuff from a trader it's a different color I've n I mean the the prestige stuff will be a different color um if something's made out of a different if it's something that can be made out of a different material it'll be the material of it'll be the color of that material um and like if you're buying stuff and you have ideology it could be dyed already right but when you make it it's a predetermined color based on what it is and the material that you use if it has very material but it's not like if you're asking why sometimes you can buy things that are different colors it's because material dye or prestige sets of doors oh my god the bug's coming again i don't know what's why they're triggering every now and then we're probably gonna just gonna have to take care of it before they start eating the walls putting sets of doors between the walls that spread outside the base hey, maybe maybe but they're mainly there for the eat things i think i'm just gonna take care of these bugs Yeah, it's they're they're being pretty annoying. Ship most likely. leave the hives up to repopulate or next raid maybe 
Maybe I can kill these though. And clear the door out. Free food. Another thing, we could probably just live off insect meat, honestly. I make a freezer, we could probably live off insect meat by leaving these up and we could get rid of the mushrooms. Bugs stood no chance. No, definitely not. Melee block, too strong. Too strong. We could have dealt with those even without melee god pawns. We use the melee block. freezer i do sometimes in the late game for like living off meat and stuff we already we're tunnelers we already like insect meat and jelly yeah. don't my pawns get move buffs from mushrooms they also get move buff from insects so they get in, move buff from mushrooms and from from bug meat so i almost always do that in late game i'm not that's the same thing with floors Every single game I put down floors at a certain point, just not early. And every time I put down floors, like, oh my god, I'm using flooring. Am I at the right place? It's like I do that every single game. <laughs> Insect and mushroom five meals are a huge move buff, yeah. Never notice I don't use freezers. I hardly ever use freezers. Maybe in the late game occasionally. It's not really much reason to unless you're eating a lot of meat. Floors aren't even real. Are bugs on? No, they're not on. You don't need a freezer if your primary source is yeah rice potatoes or uh, anything growable really corn all right uh we have some excess food will these fight the mechs they pop yes Upgrading to a meal that contains both bug and fungus could, but I mean, our moods are already pretty good. Like. I, like our, our moods at 100%. So it's like, what a fine meal is going to do for us? Nothing. <laughs> so it's no reason to. Smoke spewing things. Those are toxifier generators from biotech. All right, what's this one? Mad Wailing. Oh, God. Psychic Fog doesn't matter. Mad Wailing. I'm still going to get it. Uh... Happy enslaved youngsters. What biome do I think is easy to start in? Uh, temperate forest, yeah. Temperate forest. For sure. Temperate forest and, um, um, yeah, that's probably, I have a guide out on which ones I think are the best, but I think temperate forest, a year long temperate forest or an arid shrubland are probably the two easiest maps. Yeah. Your map has to be under negative 17 Celsius to keep bugs out, so. Yeah. Bugs are really easy to deal with anyway with a melee block, even if you do a mountain base. I mean, watch the door front if you haven't watched that up on YouTube. Bugs, when you figure out, when you know how to do melee blocking, bugs are, are not a big deal at all.
Sandstone, granite, or marble. Yeah, those are like a nice to have sort of part of it. Yeah. But I have a guide out on that. If you want to check it out? These? Oh, those are pollution pumps. They pull the pollution out of the ground in basically into bags. Why no caves? Did you watch the guide? Why no caves? Uh, caves mean that you can have insect spawns even before you're ready for them. And it also means there are already pre-existing insects and there are pre-existing hives. Uh, people having breakdowns, especially early, can go try to eat the jelly or whatnot and pull or just die. Visitors coming in can pull the bugs. Raiders coming in can pull the bugs. Um, you have to be careful with your people. You have to have, you know, make sure you're doing the zones correctly. There's a lot of things with caves that just add more headaches to to a start. So, um, yeah, I just really don't like caves. And then for a new player, having a new player start on a map with uh, insects already existing when they start is probably a bad idea. Got to break down where they go eat jelly early and then die to, yeah, like if you, yeah, if you're experienced, then whatever, you can deal with it. But that guy is specifically like, best starting maps for newer players sort of thing easiest starting map and caves add an extra complexity to a map um because of starting with bugs and places that bugs can spawn so in one run because the caves on the other side of the map yeah it happens and even like little trade groups can, can pull, like visitors can just pull bugs to your your ponds if you don't know how to deal with that you know you're uh you get screwed over pretty early well it's not a never play on a map with caves it's like if you are looking for the easiest map as like a newer player or, or anyone caves absolutely uh make things more complex to deal with We have a place in here to air this out. I can make one, it's fine. Those two should be enough. Fighting sex. Always your fault. Yeah, that as well, yeah. Go on. Ace, welcome in. See how cool this gets to this. Uh, let's remove some ceiling here. Move it over this. Be more than enough. Okay. A fridge for once. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm going to stockpile some insect meat, so. It's your beautiful temple to pray to the altar. What do they say in their prayers? I think they just grunt a lot. Yeah. You, you remember like the, um, uh, the Tim, the tool man, Taylor grunt. It's kind of like that. Only a little bit more guttural, a little, little, little more orc thrown in there. <laughs> uh. that, that kind of thing.
Yeah, just it, it'll, it'll just appear in yeah, but just in case. Yeah. Sound like Tim Allen's? Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Tim, the tool man Taylor. Ugh. Is that an owl's voice? I don't think so, Tim. A lot of grunting when they go into this super tiny room. A throat in their house. That's true, yeah. See, it makes sense. All makes sense. Why, was that a golden sub I just heard? Who was that? Wheezy! Oh, he, hey, you just did that the other day. This must be the anniversary one. Uh, Wheezy, they were the 60 months at tier 3. Holy crap. Holy crap. Tier 3 forever. Uh, thank you, Wheezy. Very much appreciate it again. Adam versus Grunt. Mm -hmm. Sometimes drum plays. They just dance. Sacramento 25, yeah. Best freezer room, like double wall, double door. Uh, so double wall does hold in. Um, there's a trade-off. So if you do double walls, it holds in temperature better. Triple walls actually reverses that. If you don't double wall, you need some more coolers. So the trade-off between wealth is actually pretty similar. Only one takes less electricity is all. So you can double wall or not. I prefer not to just to save space in here and I don't really mind the extra uh, cooler or electricity cost, but that's just personal preference. Um, and I do like to do kind of like an airlock type thing so that I don't really need this if it's cool enough in there, but I, I like to do it just, to, just in case, especially if a door gets held open is the big one. Like if something gets dropped here and the door gets held open, you know, I'm not worried about the temperature escaping and this going into uh, a cooler instead of a freezer temporarily and then things starting to a little less or a little uh, closer to being um rotten you know so it's just it's it's a bit of personal preference really it's not that like the the difference between the two is not that extreme but uh on now on extreme temperature mats double walling um can actually be very beneficial like if you're doing extreme desert and you're doing a freezer then double walling that is going to um especially early on is, is going to be a good thing to do yeah you're watching you don't think you've seen you make a cooler or freezer i very rarely do usually the only reason i do is if i'm on if uh, i'm trying to free someone to resurrect them that is the most common that's the most common actually want silver I might not buy anything from them on this run here we get more of those from ancient dangers all the time all right. nice delivery it's DiGiorno is the outer double wall count for keeping the base temperature more stable as well or is it too far out um it's going to hold temperature in on any enclosed room. So if you are like temperature controlling this entire area, then yeah, that will do that. And back. you can see Your even here, it's a little warmer inside than outside. Um, even with like the triple or quadruple wall, yeah. So w the double wall does work for holding in temperature better regardless what you know size or whatever. You can lose some effectiveness on how big it is. You're gonna need more cooling or more, more heaters. The bigger the room is, like always, but it does hold in more heat, yeah. Or keeps the temperature what you want more. Why are you not bothering with that sunblocker? That sunblocker is giving us uh ten percent melee dodge, giving our enemies minus ten percent dodge. It's making our enemies shoot 
um you know uh, shooting accuracy like minus 20 percent so yeah i think i'm gonna leave the sun blocker because it's giving us a huge boost it's also increasing our mood yeah it seems it seems like a good idea to leave it up splitted yeah <laughs> yeah we have the um darkness precepts so it's just it's really really uh, an amazing thing to have right now all right we're gonna link all those clear this we're gonna go to meat that is critical all right pretty good one good one <laughs> Oh yeah, we're taking it for the shooting accuracy. That's right. Hmm. Will I do an AMA? Maybe. Is melee specialist okay-ish? Eh. The passive is like okay for this run, but in general, it's not. It's not a great thing. Should we fight a hundred over one hundred and twenty scythers? Oh, like 132 scythers let's see we can't use the doomsday we can't use the berserk pulse we can't use the uh we can use this <laughs> anima trees lasted uh yeah it should yeah unless like a meteor or something falls on it no real reason to take this honestly It's just going to eat up our cataphract armor durability, so probably shouldn't do it. If the rewards were good, like if we had, um, I don't know, like, um, even like an infinite chem fuel generator or something like that. I already checked the bond. They didn't have, they didn't have tough. No, nope. I checked them. That's a quest where you, it's not a quest where they're running away. It's the reward. So you can check them. They didn't have it. You know the caravan that comes to trade with your colony? Constant buzzing. Your brain barely works. There's bugs and mechs everywhere. No plants. Permanent night. And if you're tough, you're forcibly recruited. Your friends are killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty rough place. Uh, not not very hospitable for sure. Great place to live. It's a great place to live. Your melee god. Other than that, though. Other than that, it's, it's quite inhospitable. Heroes dungeon dive for loot. Stark full of orcs. An Abasia colonist was arrested. They couldn't release them since they were Abasia. Is that a thing? Yeah, they need to be able to walk. Yeah. So you have to wait until Abasia is off. You can't release a prisoner or sell prisoner or anything like that gives them for tribute if they can't walk for any reason i'll eventually get that built <laughs> just go back and forth between them there we go. finally able to convert them yeah, yeah you can convert and stuff like that with a beja because they're not they're not in a coma they just are paralytic right so and as soon as they're able to walk, you can then do whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. All right, got a lot of spare bug meat for a rainy day. We basically have infinite bug meat if we just leave those up. Very little work. They, they just literally come to us, so. I don't think we'll need to make any more uh, mushrooms. All right, let's see here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make this all sterile. Oh. 
the orcs have developed ranching technology. It's not quite conventional, but it's technically ranching nonetheless. All right, Christopher, are we almost ready? We're ready. All right, OD. Did we kidnap you or were you originally one of us? Uh, you were, you were ours. Okay. Tough, steadfast. Free roam bug meats. Come on, we used to make. All right, here we go. A new melee god. Let's get them a name first. Here we go. Who is the new god? Old man Lobus. Here we go. Implant your genes. There you go, Lois. Welcome to the colony. All right. Schedule, put them on the buy phase. I think I'm going to do some flip schedules, actually. Uh, I think I'm going to put the slaves on a flip schedule in just a little bit. Uh, Lobus, fight people, wear whatever you want. Take your melee god drugs. We'll get you a sword temporarily, I guess. Turn that back on. Drop on the floor. Make one of those. Uh, blade spark. I'm gonna make that. Okay, and for schedule, I'm gonna flip these guys. Now we should be less likely to get in a relationship with slaves. Person's name before you touch them with your magic appendage, Jeet Implanter. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was nice of us, yeah. I need to take some good drugs. Uh, when's our next one? Crack is ready now. And then 15 days on another one. All right, how many days on 11 on this? Okay. That room is a little crowded, a little crowded. Just, just a little bit. Hey, where'd you put that sword? Smelter's not on, so. There it is. There it is. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, Lobus will be back up. Or will be up for the first time, I guess. Uh, just a couple days. We have a bed for him already. Yep. We're good. We're good. Probably larger base sometimes. Can't find where stuff has been put. Yeah. this we're gonna go into a sign we're gonna go to our app fits we're gonna go to anything and we're gonna go to the um utility slot we're gonna turn everything off aside from shield belts and i'm gonna micromanage when we need low shields and not so that'll do that should do anyway all right lobus what work are you gonna do We 
You're not really good at anything. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm seeing? I'm good at fighting, boss. I'm good at fighting. All right, you know what? That's good enough. Fighting's good enough. An art master. Um, we have a minus eight in art, so don't. I'm not so sure that's gonna happen. Not so sure that's gonna happen. Christopher is our best artist at a zero. I think I did buy an art trainer at some point, but I'm not sure. Man, there's no passion. Best is a long shot, yeah. No one can do art, and he can also not do art, but a little not as bad as the other. That makes no sense, but that's how it is. Hey, we found some plasteel. Nice. Nice. We'll go get that someday when the map is cleaned off a little bit. I think he's named Old Man. He's 46, yeah. How many nerfs has Biotech received to this day? I don't know. Uh, insects got nerfed. Fitting for a worm. But I don't. I don't have like a. I don't have like a counter or anything. A few. A few. Yeah, I might have saved. Yeah, I thought about buying one. But I might have saved the silver. Can't remember. Masterwork shield belt. Nice. Let's let them get things done while we're waiting on Cassandra. And the bugs are regenerating over here. How many are they back up to? Ah, eh, not, not too many. Still searching, yeah. We're actually ready for a gene. But I don't think we have another tough pond at the moment. We just made our last tough prisoner. So. We still do have this sanguine brawler. You know, and then we have great memory nimble. So if we don't find another one, Chubnuts might become one. He's, he's actually really good. He's got a lot of good skills. Great memory is awesome. Nimble is not quite as good as tough, but you know, it helps in melee. So Chub Nuts, uh, if we don't find anyone else, probably after Welcome these rituals, back. we'll, we'll use Chub Nuts. Objections down. Are you still looking for next victim? Looking for the next victim yet. Uh, Mitchie, five months already. Time flies in your ribbon, Mitchie. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. And Brian, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Brian. We're using the Twitch Prime here again. Also much appreciate. What color should our hospital be? Let's dye the hospital. Paint it. Paint it. Hmm. 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 Paint it black. <laughs> Go along nicely. Right side of the map. Do you miss their wiping out? No, they're still there. Yeah, they're still there. Random. Just use all kinds of different colors. Sickly green. Still just hospital colors again. Blue with a red cross in the middle. <laughs> right pink. Do a swirl. Do a swirl. How much dye do we have saved up? 400. Cream. Paint it black. I'm thinking about painting their, uh, their barracks black. Sterile white. Paint it even more white. White on white. Let's see how... I'm not gonna do the whole thing like this. Let's see how different the white is from the normal sterile. 
right. That's an art job. <laughs> it's the exact same. You can't even tell. Blue and yellow. Painted all red so you can't see the blood. On top, do you have anyone with double passions and nine plus art? No, not really. Let's see. I can't tell though is the problem. Slaves can't do art, so I, I can't even tell. It's beautiful, such a difference. You can paint your base and make things aesthetic. Tell them you painted it all now. I painted the hospital white. I did this as like uh, a gray and this is an off gray. God, I want Cassandra to send a pirate raid from this side. You know, I'm not picky. It could be tribals. Come on, Cassandra. Come on. I swear I'll I'll have some people die during the ship launch on purpose. No, no. Shh. Don't tell her. As long as you send a raid here. I've got to see what happens. I have an idea what would happen. Uh, we almost used all of our uh, steel in this room. Set a pirate breach raid from due north. Open your wall and then flee due east. No, 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 no. <laughs> Would a caravan would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I could start launching waste. I've thought about doing that, but right now we're using all the waste. So. Nice Neanderthal raid. We have a giant war again. Yeah. yeah. Like in the transcubus run. Maybe, maybe worse. Maybe worse. Oh, we didn't use all the insect meat that was right here. All right. It's all sterile. It's all sterile. Yeah. Get the hospital beds moved over. Our rain plus friendly reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened during the trans. You just run. Master work shield belt, nice. Very nice. Call help trigger them. Well, I would rather they take out an actual raid, right? Armor pods look cool. <laughs> yeah, it's very strange, yeah. Yeah. It almost was like modded, right? But it's not. Definitely looks modded, but it is. I need a bit more steel. Get that done. Another plasteel discovery. Come on, Cassandra. Hit me. Hit me. Are you seeing the video is ending? Oh, yeah, because of the edited run. Yeah. The only visible mod is the 4X button. Yeah. Lobus, how long until you're up? 13 hours. 13 hours. We doing on this stuff. Yeah. Scans of uranium, blade spark. Very fun. 
Oh, you're crazy for thinking that. Oh, it's coming to an end. Uh, yeah, it is displaying Fahrenheit and Celsius at the same time. That's also a mod, you're right. That's right. I mean, you can display either one of those in the base game, but you can't display both at the same time. You're starting to get sad the episode is over. Should be good. All aside from P music, yeah. Oh crap. Whoops. Uh, what if you can see the music? I guess you can't really tell that I'm using camera plus either until I zoom out. Not really. Come on, Cassandra, do your thing. How long has it been? Longest, nah, it's about the same. Never mind. What color, we're gonna paint. I'm not sure yet. I can tell because you just told me. Hey, you guys aren't melee gods. Can't, can't survive against an ibex. What are you guys thinking? We're all mad with the bandit settlement, so all your long range scans are literally under your base. I don't know. We were talking about that before, too. Yeah, I'm not sure. You'd have to do a pretty massive circle around it, but I would like to test it out. That'd be a lot, a lot, a lot. Of course, you didn't have you wouldn't have to do the um, actual ancient dangers. You could just settle and abandon and just keep doing that over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, part of it's just that the game is getting slower because of how late into it we are and how the tick rate isn't as good. It's just going to feel longer. Like, even those five days to get the gene replenished felt way longer. Good, I've tried that out in the cheese run, yeah. So we're going to need some more steel. How's the plasteel going there? We still got a bit. <laughs> Party. How long until our rituals anyway? Nine days. Plus is that newborn children count as incapacitated. So it shows a little station icon for them. I didn't notice that, yeah. All right. Old man Lobus, he's up. He's partying. You know what you should do, old man Lobus? You should uh, you should take some Luciferium. Take some Luciferium. Then it's a real party. Nice. Chunky Cheddars, welcome in. All right. Designed, you already had mine like this for the run, which just developed. Uh, the main thing I had in mind is just the thick outer walls. Thick outer walls is about the only thing. I mean, obviously the barracks and stuff is normal. The rest has just been necessity, yeah. The bare necessities. That child got tough, I know. It would have been really tempting to make a growth bat. Yeah. All right, Lobus.
follow the stream how to get it all uh ancient dangers in shopping 11 addicts uh 170 ish well we got 120 and they're carrying one each so well, let's just go with 130 130 loose spherium in stock we got about a year worth of loose spherium shopping for what shopping for loose spherium <laughs> at, at settlements building your base 25 squares of the interior will not roof uh yeah the roof can only go out six unwalled spots so basically 13 by x 13 by x so if you're doing bigger than 13 by x you want to put a center spot like this like if i didn't have this here then the roof would collapse in the in the area so uh yeah six open spaces from a wall or column or whatnot yep no problem so you can add columns will do it as well yep columns or walls Get that little bit of steel out of there as well. Columns or walls. Columns are not walls, but they will hold up a roof. Do columns have the same range? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like weak barricade, weak barricade art that can hold up a wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, they can hold up a roof. Excuse me, weak barricade art. I can hold up a roof. <laughs> That's the lowest times we wouldn't still at nine days. The nature of this should have used a smaller map, I guess. I mean, this is a medium sized map. This is 275. So it's not even like a big map, but. You yeah, have just that one dining table for a colony this big. I have. 16 dining tables for a colony this big. Probably should put some more chairs around this one, though. I have three in this room alone, yeah. Cooler beyond critical priority or one lower so they carry meat to the cooking area. critical I, I don't know i had it set but then they weren't making the meat quickly enough because mushrooms don't come in fast enough so i set these higher like i had it before i could just move the stoves all up here that would that would solve it maybe i'll just do that maybe i'll do that because problem was before they were making it all and i could put for them to make even more meals it was it was rotting in here but I have a pet raccoon? No, I don't. You can blame this innocent pet death on is a what? Is it what said? Can you please kill that poor innocent raccoon that's wandering around? Please, please. And so I did. That's their hair. That's just literally their their blonde hair. <laughs> it's not their head. <laughs> Playing a food guide at some point for YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Someday. <laughs> hey, Arnold head. I know that one shelf is pointing the wrong way, but we're going to move it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Biscuit! Join us Thank you for the gift of a postcard. Thank you, Biscuit. Much appreciated. Much love to the Biscuit. <laughs> Going Vegemite or winning? Uh, I'm going to go with yes. I'm going to go with that. Yes. All right. 
Alrighty, let's screw this up. There a raid radius like if all the faction limits are x plus one they won't send a raid to your colony no there's nothing like that you can even you can even have a colony let's see if there's any spots like that you can have a colony uh here and you'll still get land-based raids from all enemy factions um like here you could you could have a colony here literally a mountain tundra base and the only accessible tile is uh you know unwalkable all of them you can still get attacked by land based of every enemy even with the settlement here that's just the way it is on rim world for some reason the kitchen cubicle that's right If all the faction settlements on the rim are destroyed, if you destroy every settlement on the on the map, your only major events will be mechs and animals. So you'll still get raided by like yeah, a mechs, and you'll still have like manhunters and stuff like that. good enough try the mech hive and insect gene lines through quests or something yeah no problem try the mechs that would have been a nice quest yeah if like doing the arco nexus then you come back and continue playing and all mechs no longer work or something legendary cataphract newton's picking that up he's like yoink that one's mine Why do people call me AMA? No one calls me AMA. AMA means ask me anything. Uh, typing it in a question highlights the question. That's supposed to be for when chat's busy or the game's really busy and typing AMA will highlight that message so that I can come back to it and not miss it to answer like a game question. Just thought people were misspelling my name. <laughs> Adam must answer. I see they were lurk. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Let's pretend that's not your real name. Been binge watching YouTube. Play roll on console. You're able to see hidden unroof mountain spots by blanketing straw flooring. Uh, yes, you can do stuff like that on um on the PC as well. Yeah, yep. Another way to see open spots. You can do the melee trick, or you can do uh, you can try to place something with a blueprint like that. Yeah, and if it allows you to place it, then that's hollow. Yep. Adam might answer. Musty artichokes. Ooh, another masterwork cataphract. Nice. Come on, Xander. What is going on here? Do I need to reload or what? Whoops. 
We've had one other time when there was that big of a gap. Cassandra literally can't fall asleep, but it looks like we're getting it on the max end of her cooldown. So, like, if she goes on cooldown at the end of the 4.6 days, then she does a full cycle. Technically, very rarely, it can take her up to, what was it? 14 days to attack or something. She's chilling because there's already so many threats in the map. <laughs> Mighty artillery. That does sound like a request. But it's literally only been one day since I asked previously. Waiting on Cassandra. I would go off map and do some more things, but uh, the way is blocked. <laughs> way as well what threats are you on the map here let me let me do an overview of the map really quick all right we got a max size infestation over here okay and then we got a max raid point um ship full of centipedes here and then we got a max psychic ship full of centipedes and boss mechs including a pokerton a war mother and centurions and this group of mechs is also in the middle of over a hundred cocoons of insects. So we have a few things going on on our map. Just like, just like a few minor things. <laughs> just a few. So just like another Sunday on the rim then, pretty much. Things are ready to kick off as soon as anything happens. <laughs> What do I think about the biotech DLC? Do you think it's fun or just too complicated? It's definitely not too complicated. I think it's fun. I think it's like two to two and a half DLCs in one. Yeah, but I'm biased, of course. Well, I mean, the they're mortal enemies. For anyone that doesn't know the lore, the insects were, were genetically created, mutated to fight the mechs, but then they ended up fighting everything. Yeah, these are absolutely going to fight each other. Things will go crazy as soon as I get raided. Yep. Yep. Just leave towards the north. Insects are anti-mech. Yeah. Yeah. If for anyone that doesn't know, there is lore outside of the game that Ludian, uh, Tynan have made for the game. Uh, it's, it's a pretty dry read, but if you're interested in RimWorld, it's interesting. So there are lore documents from the developer that goes over the origins of the insects. It talks about the herb worlds and it talks about the, um, glitter worlds like there's quite a bit um but yeah you can find those i don't have the link there's a link in my discord but you can just search google i'm sure it's like a google doc from the developers with all that stuff in it and the insects were genetically altered to fight the mechs but it backfired and the insects just fight everything now we have to genetically alter a colony to fight both yeah pretty much pretty much Yeah, and there's some of the lore in the game as well. If you look at info on things, yeah. Yep, yeah. But there's even more outside of it in those documents. Orcs are made to fight Necrons. They just love fighting so much they wage war against everyone. Ah, uh, those level fungus. Can't fault the green skin. They're just they're just fungus, you know. I do not have a boom rat. But yeah, you can do that, but eventually a raid will come, so. Is it what has the document? Death to the greenskins. <laughs> yeah, everything is uh not nothing's going too quickly, even on 3x. Hey, everything's ready. So we can start doing bionic arms here. So we're going to go ahead and um, uh, make bionic arm. Do until we have X. We're going to move that up the list. And we're going to do like six right now. Uh, 
Ah, uh, friggin' Manhunter. Why? Oh, uh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Send me Raiders, Cassandra. Raiders. How am I supposed to get tough ones from rhinos? Hey, there's silver out here. What do you know? Just get tough rhinos. Recruit them. <laughs> Give them persona weapons. Make them melee gods. All right, well, I guess we just kind of chill and wait again. Excellent. Ah, more bugs. Bug meat, nice. They really don't sound like rhinos. Uh, go if you go on like YouTube and you Google what a rhino sounds like, a single rhino, it's not too far away actually. Find the rhinos to get tougher, like in some weird anime. <laughs> Big squeaky toys. How do I get them to attack move automatically? Go into assignment, change it to attack nearby enemies, draft them around the area, and then undraft them. Oh my god, finally, Arison. Yeah, if these would trigger those mechs, that'd be, that'd be or, uh, yeah, that'd be kind of nice. Or, yeah, any of them. God, I wanted, I wanted that to be a raid. Hopefully she attacks again with a raid. Um. Yeah, maybe we drop some pollutants on uh on some tribals see if we can force some tribal you raids join in here us or die binoc if you sub to raven's reaper thank you binoc yeah maybe i'll do that Yeah, they'll find them in their way, but they won't trigger them, yeah. Are we winning? I'm gonna go with, uh, yes. Go with yes. Are chairs for workstations ever important? Uh, it depends. At the moment, we have all masterwork beds, and I'm on biphasic, so I'm already capping our comfort twice a day. So, putting chairs at workstations where they're working a long time at most gives us maybe like 4% more comfort. And as you can see, we don't really need it because we have our mood max. So there's just not really a reason for me to do it at the moment. I'm not sure, Cord. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. For the, uh, for mobile, yeah. But I mean, if you aren't using something like good beds and uh, biphasic, then the extra comfort on long work time workstations like they're going to be at a lot cooking research you know um fabricating it can be worth it yeah but i'm just using like all literally all masterwork and better beds and biphasic so they're capping comfort anyway so come on starry done you done
and dump some toxic waste on some tribals see if we can get them all riled up they add a uh, retaliation mechanic to that so maybe maybe we can get that working all righty load it up Uh, I don't know whichever ones are reachable. Yeah, um, let's see. Oh, there's quite a few right there. Look, they're just going to launch more back at you. That'd be fine. Yeah, depending on where it lands. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait until the rhino are gone so we can go outside. How many more days on this? Seven. Well, I mean, two days. Granny's been summoned by Uncle Jay. That's not my dear old granny used to say. She was always saying this. I assume in Canada, the Zambonis just littered around. Granny had some opinions about Canada, apparently. Is that true, Canadians in chat? Are there just Zambonis everywhere in Canada? You sometimes ride a Zamboni to school? Ask Canadian, you can confirm it's true. Nice. There sure are. So wh which one, like, when a kid turns 16 or whatever and gets their license and they get, like, if it's 16 in Canada and they get their first vehicle to like drive back and forth to the high school, which one is it like rich kids get the Zamboni and the poor kids get like the moose or is it the other way around? I'm not sure. It's the backbone of the economy. Granny giving out secrets for some in every city. Berkberg TK, neutral law, carbon. Welcome in. It's going to Ricks. No moose at all. Depends on the season. Oh, okay. Rich kids get moose and zambonis. Wow. Poor kids just get sleds. Learn something new every day. You got this, Frenchie. Got his three kids all named Sell the Child. <laughs> For you, it was a pet beaver. It pulled your sleigh? You had a crazy carpet. <laughs> There's only two weeks of the year that it doesn't snow. <laughs> what is the ratio of Zambonis to snowplows? The bugs are screwing up our walls again. Let's go get some more bug meat, I guess. run can we borrow eight of your 11 colonists for 11 days we'll give you a word of trust that you can't use uh, let me think about that no children what are you doing Uh, EQ fan, EQ fan. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, EQ. Much love to the EQ fan. Let's do this.
Kill me, please. Do stammers and mono swords? That's right. Oh, this is a familiar sound. Love this song. Good one. Pretty good one. My right, pawns take severe damage at this point. No, but it, it damages their armor, which is unfortunate because we have to keep remaking um, counteract armor. Now we can get back out there. There we go. We need to clear some of this junk out. Um, I'm doing a lot of blocking over there. Maybe we should build some of these over here. A generous it's frying trout was a bird box though. Yeah, probably not. The popcorn. Sad thing for the hundred bits. The last message is supposed to have bits attached. Got a bug problem. Call the exterminators. <laughs> uh, I did. Yeah, that's exactly what we did, actually. or die master another jiglio <laughs> thank you for the gifts of the graph thing he's gonna say my name different every time it's just got one of those names that i that's how it works uh thank you though i do appreciate it play a marine moment smacking the rhino smack is that a euphemism What'd you do yesterday? I spent all day smacking my rhino. Everything's a euphemism if you try hard enough. That's what my granny always told me. That's what my granny always told me. Nope, just literally smacking rhinos. Oh, Smurf is summon granny. You'll see here. Not my dear old granny, you say. We can be all over her chest now. No further questions. You try hard enough as a euphemism as well. Bug feet, bug feet, no, bug meat for years. I guess bug feet works as well. Mind freeze, can you kill that squirrel? Thank you. Thank you. Just like you stop or uh, finish making this, not start making it. Also, thank you. I get that door shut. This one's shut. Shut. Okay. Sky gun was someone as well. Uh, who got the sky gun? Arabex. I don't see a quote by them yet. Why is use of channel points in gambling? Gotten to try Rimworld console edition. I mean, it's out, so. 
any, anyone can try it. But I know a lot of people uh, have played it. Yes, I have not. This world with Zeus Hammer seems a little overkill. Ah, better overkill than underkill, I actually always say. Commandment 3991. The darkest dungeon is over. It's like a fortune cookie. You gotta, you gotta decipher that yourself. I don't know what he means. There's a bunny on my base. Don't worry, we'll beat it to death in a minute. We got some other important things to do, but we'll definitely beat it to death. Don't worry. He's overkill. There's sufficient ammo and reload. Kill bunny and someone immediately starts insulting everyone. Ah, it's bound, it's bound to happen. Uh, I think all the, well, almost all the rotten ones are done. Uh, okay. Looks good. We can turn those back off. Turn them on when we need them. Put those back on. Actually, uh, let's let our batteries re refill. Dance party next. Uh, six more days still. Wish all night. Not yet. Not yet. I guess I only get to play it a uh, handful of hours a week, so it's going to take a while. We should eat some thrumbo right about now. I wonder what thrumbo would taste like. Probably really gamey, I guess. Just a, it's probably like elk, like a giant elk. Hey, Dennis, I don't know how you survived all the map, but. Welcome home. We now will have no one we can trade with. <laughs> oh, we can trade the pigs. It's fine. He's going to have like double pessimist. Eh. Cares, double pessimist. He's tough. That's all we care. Tough spine potted. Spotted. Moving into capture. Dennis is ours. Capture the monkey kid. I don't think so, Paulo. Got some kangaroo tails today to make stew with. That's interesting. I've had kangaroo jerky, but I've never had it otherwise. No guns allowed. There you go. Welcome to the bug meat factory. Okay. Um, convert. Fifty-seven percent. I will try it. Why the three thick walls? Are they for cover? No, they're not for cover. They're literally just for raiders to attack. That's why. Hopefully we'll have a raid and you can see it in action, but it's just literally more targets for raiders. We don't, we don't use cover here. We're all melee. We don't use cover here. We can gene inject Dennis right now. Well, I mean, after he's converted and recruited, we can. Bug meat sweatshop tycoon. Ooh, effective. Look at that. He's already down to 6.3. He barely even remembers who his previous god was. We have inspired recruitment, so as soon as he's... Maybe we just go ahead. Because word of... He's at 
Okay, so sorry recruitment on lock. So let's go ahead and get Dennis. Put him on recruit. Um turn off. Send everyone else. That should be good. We'll get him. Raiders, yeah, I don't let them have a path inside the base, no. So much meat, so much meat. Because of the implication, implication. I heard that in a while. I haven't heard that in a while. We're gonna need a new bed as well. Blade Spock. What a good bed. How embarrassing, Blade Spark. Make it again. Good. Blade Spark. Have you lost your touch? Your masterwork touch? Come on. Blade Spark. For God's sake. There you go. Good grief. All right, so Dennis will be the next melee god. We need to go get some more weapons, but... I guess I'll just make another longsword for now. Fire starting. Hey, look! Crack no longer has dementia, thanks to Luciferium. Cure your dementia with this one easy trick. Swear yourself to Satan. <clears throat> hey, it worked. It worked for crack. Worked for crack. <laughs> hey, I thought there was no religion on this stream. Not, not religion. Drugs, man. Drugs. Uh, let's see. I guess we could grab some of that steel. Boy, we are low on steel. Yes, yes. Fire everywhere. Yep. This furniture is engraved with an illustration of Christopher polishing the surface of a bionic arm while wiping the sweat from her forehead. Satan's not a religion. Cure for dementia, just get really high on drugs. That's right. That is correct. Wake up, Dennis. It's time to become a god. Another masterwork. Ooh, a longsword. Nice. That is Dennis's longsword. A lifetime subscription, not an instant one use. Yeah, yeah, right. Which somehow makes that better. Our description through to all you see what it comes up with. Yes, people have been doing that in our Discord on some of the really crazy ones on stream. There's been some really cool ones, actually. Let's come up with. Scars can be healed with regeneration pods. Yep, they can. Yep. Yep. But dementia can't. Wow, we got so much meat. So much meat. Dennis. All right, Dennis, it's time. Let's get you a name first. Dennis's true name is... Wizard, a different wizard. Wizard full of numbers. All right. Here we go. We do it from behind. 
Here we go, wizard. Does spamming the Q redeem do anything? It gives you more entries into the Q, yes. It's it's a raffle system, so the more it's a lottery, the more tickets you have in there, the higher your odds are to getting your name drawn. But when you get your name drawn, it eats all your your tickets, so. Yeah, it's, it's more like a lottery than a queue these days, yeah. All right, wizard. Wizard. Only well, takes one to win, yeah, but the more you have in, the more likely you are to win. All right, we got... Um, Nine days, we can get another one. How long until our dance is five? Five days. All right. Now let's load this up. Now that the rhinos are gone. Yeah, he is, but he's almost, uh, he's almost converted. It's only going to take one chat and he's done. So. He's not converted. He will be as soon as he wakes up. You can rig the queue if you donate bits you've heard. So. Cannot confirm or deny. The results may vary. Oh no, I've angered them. Oh no. Oh no. The Neanderthals are mad at me. Well, I guess we can start uh, installing those arms. Oh, we are like out of steel. Pretty much out of steel. Let them, uh, this one's not getting anything more. Turn that off. And I guess we'll put it up here. We gotta make sure we bring it in when attack comes. But other than that, we'll uh, get as much steel out of that as we can. Love to find another steel node inside the base. It's been a while since we had one of those. Got some pretty close ones. The ancient terminal. Yes. All right. Well, we got a village to go ransack, so. Uh, ship launch, probably, yeah. Ship launch. We're not that far away from it, either. We'll probably do ship launch next weekend. I, I would guess. It depends, though. Like, there's a lot of stuff. We can die to the stuff on the map right now if it all comes at once, so. Do nodes respawn or regenerate? What nodes? Oh, um, are you talking about the uh, mineral scans? Yeah, so they changed the mineral scanner in 1.2. So basically, the mineral scanner just spawns or For all intents and purposes, it just creates more. So you can get it to spawn. Like, if we mined all the steel, the generator could hit that spot again and spawn something else. Doesn't even have to be steel. So yeah. Or the uh, scanner, rather. Yeah, that was changed uh, a long time ago. Long, long ago. Scan Plasteel. Too far away. Scan Steel. Nice. Hey! <laughs> All right, so Cassandra listened to me there. Now she just listened to me about some other things. In good shape. Move these. Going J Mac, welcome back. It's possible to clear the things around the map. Are you talking about the abandoned settlements that I have out there? No. No. Uh, 
uh, or, or if you're talking about something else, let me know. But that's the ones you're talking about. Then no. All right. That should get our steel numbers up again. Our ability to throw things bigger, stronger, smarter. Throw a sphere better. Well, also, I mean, a lot of Neanderthal stuff was lost just because of interbreeding, right? So it's not even like it was all direct competition. It was assimilation as well. Neanderthals have been assimilated. We have a lot of meat. A lot of meat. Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I was just saying. Yep. Inbreeding? Not inbreeding. Crossbreeding. It isn't that we just like beat them. But also, of course, everything we know is interpretation through what little we found and then also what genetics has discovered. You know, it's uh, we can piece the puzzle together, but we don't have the box that shows what the picture is supposed to be. So that's just our best guess on those things based on the archaeology and the biology that we've we've managed to do so far but it's still very much foggy you know but... until we get, find some kind of breakthrough but even then it's really hard looking the past that far you know really want a time machine for it would be to look legit history channel yeah that would be kind of awesome yeah because we have we have some really good guesses right and some really good theories very sound scientific theories on things but there's a lot of there's a lot of empty spaces we invent time travel did you use it to win the powerball and then make your own history channel Byron Gully. Robin Williams on the role of Genie and Aladdin, partly in order to do the project he really wanted. Was Batty? Batty. Batty has some good some good lines in Fern Gully. Fern Gully's good. Fern Gully is probably my favorite version of Avatar. <laughs> no. It's quite similar though. Don't ancient aliens have time travel? Well, ancient alien theorists say yes. I used to watch, so I watch, I actually watch ancient aliens for entertainment value, right? It's all, it's all so silly. Every now and then they'll, um, they'll say something that clues me on, on some kind of like ancient structure or place I didn't know about. And then I'll go like watch and research things about it actually. But it's just, it's become almost a comedy because every single question, they ask so many questions or like rhetorical questions, it's always, ancient alien theorists say yes no matter what it is no matter what it is it's just uh it's just become a, a comedy show where occasionally i learn some kind of like uh megalithic structure that i go research for real um that ends up being interesting but ancient alien theorists say yes they made the theory so of course they say yes yeah exactly it's so silly it's so silly and no matter what the question is yeah or aliens among us as lizard people? Ancient alien theorists say yes. Is the earth hollow? Do they actually live inside the earth? Ancient alien theorists say yes. Can they really believe it's not butter? Ancient alien theorists say yes. It's always aliens, so it's not aliens. Yeah. It's almost always so much more awesome. Yeah. 
all those shows are like i mean what enjoy whatever you want you know but uh i also remember watching like uh finding bigfoot for the comedy of it i know it's not supposed to be a comedy i don't think but and some of it was kind of interesting you know but finding bigfoot was always funny and i can very specifically remember an episode that i was just laughing i was probably early 20 or something i was like just audibly laughing out loud because of just the absurdity of it and the episode was like something it's an old one now but something to the effect of like this person was like yeah we were out there we were playing music you know out in the woods and we heard this noise hat and you know they'd recreate it and it's gotta be a bigfoot and then the they hear from another group of people like a town over they're like yeah we were having a bonfire and we're out there playing music and uh something started throwing throwing rocks at us of course they say it must be bigfoot so uh, the researchers the, the bigfoot researchers come in and they're very like serious you know and what is their conclusion they're like looking at the camera and they're like so we've come to the conclusion that the sasquatch must enjoy music and they're brought out by music so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go way out in the woods way out deep in the woods and we've brought this we brought this guitarist with us and we're going to go out there. And we're just going to play guitar music deep in the woods late at night to draw the Bigfoot to us. And I'm just like cracking up. It's like, how is that your... <laughs> Someone was throwing rocks at us while we're having a bonfire. Bigfoot must be a fan of music. Let's go deep in the woods and play him some music. Anyway, all those shows are so ridiculous. Basically comedies at this point. Hunt for Nessie. Did they do that on that show? What happened to the modern aliens? Bigfoot, the OG furry. Oh, I'm wearing a Bigfoot shirt. <laughs> uh, what are the odds? I just looked down. There he is. I found him. Don't mess the Sasquatch commercials. Oh yeah, the Jack Links. Let's go ahead, Sim. Sigh. Welcome in. Sandra really only gonna hit us once with that. I was hoping for a human raid. We didn't even get a retaliation from the um from the waste. How many squares of mushrooms does it take to feed one pond? It takes 20 on normal, well, 20 mushroom plots. Rice on rich is not 25, it's 15. Mushrooms, the game is pretty balanced around 20 plots of a food to feed someone on simple meals forever. If they have no increase in hunger, if it gets planted and harvested immediately, 20 plots of soil, basically. Now with rice, it's 20 normal plots of soil, 15 rich or basically eight hydroponic plots. But again, that's if it's if it's harvested immediately and replanted immediately and turned into only simple meals and they have a 100% hunger rate, nothing increased. So 15 rich rice, yep. Living in quiet dinosaurs, crocodiles. And overgrowing, it's fine to overgrow a little bit, right? You don't wanna, you usually don't wanna be on the razor's edge. You don't wanna overcook usually either, but. Uh, Blade Spark and Shikan were sterile, right? Yeah. Okay. How much? Uh, we're pulling up steel now, so it should be fun. Blade Spark, make the bed that you will live in. Yeah, if everything goes perfectly, it only takes 20, but 25 gives you some wiggle room for like events happening, even events like a blight or a fire, you know, giving you some wiggle room is nice in general, but the actual just like one for one, if everything's perfect, those are the numbers. Overgrowing a little bit, a little bit is definitely suggested. Why steel beds over wood ones? Wood and steel have the exact same stats for beds and I can get infinite steel, but I can get no wood because there's no sunlight. Mm. 
So yeah, wood and steel beds have the exact same stats. And they're both flammable. So. Alright, Blade Spock and Shikon. You guys the only one that's actually married now? there's wood now the i mean i can get rid of the last little bit of trees for a little bit of wood but why when i i there's just infinite steel there's no there's no reason they're the exact same so use whichever one i have infinite steel inside my base Yes, you can grow fiber corn. Fiber corn is very inefficient. So again, why would I grow fiber corn, one piece of wood per fiber corn, when I can just dig up steel? Where am I getting my steel from? Right here is a couple thousand steel. There's a couple thousand more. On the map right now, if I go out far enough, there's like tens of thousands of steel. I'm just deep drilling it. There's another steel that we just discovered. So steel yeah, we I have infinite literally infinite steel in the long run without having to really do much of anything gotta mine it but yeah fiber corn is not great i mean if that's your only option you need wood for some reason it's, it's whatever but you do not get a lot out of fiber corn one wood per fiber corn uh these lamps are uh, dark light lamps because that's what we need. See, we have to have dark light or else they get unhappy. Looks awesome zoomed out. Yeah, it's an ideology thing. All right, wizard. Oh, well, we need to convert him like immediately. All right, wizard, get your weapon. Minus 39. <laughs> okay, take your Lucifirium. Okay. The wizard's up. I thought our uh, conversion would be ready by the time you got up, but not quite. Not quite. I have so much Lucifirium. I bought it from traders and I've gotten it from Ancient Dangers. I've done a lot of Ancient Dangers. Like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've done 19 maps of Ancient Dangers and several of those had double. We've probably gone through maybe like 25 Ancient Dangers. Put the wardens back. I mean, it doesn't. We have no prisoners at the moment, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But it doesn't really matter. Where you go, crack? Where you go? Ninety-seven percent. Come on, come on, Christopher. I'm going to split the recording here to make it easier to upload to YouTube.